I will be representing Coleman Floor Company. We have yet to receive full price of what was agreed upon in the contract. We entered into a subcontract with Joseph Muscarell to install flooring in a building that was being constructed in New York. We agreed upon an installation price of $575,000. We had only received $500,000 of it. We believe the arbitration clause in paragraph 32 is unenforceable because it lacks mutuality. I will be representing the defendant, Joseph L. Muscarelli. Plaintiff Kalman Floor Company and I, Joseph L. Muscarelli, entered into a subcontract. The subcontract was to perform flooring installations on a building that was being constructed in New York. The contract price was $575,000, but only $500,000 was paid to Coleman Floor Company due to a dispute that occurred over the quality of the work. The two contracts pertaining to this case are the original construction contract between Wakeford Food Corporation, the owner, and Muscarell, and the subcontract between Muscarell and Coleman. Owner Wakefern Food Corporation was unhappy with the quality of work and therefore did not pay the last $75,000 on the original contract, thus making both the original contract and some subcontract unfulfilled. Muscarell compelled the filing for arbitration due to the Arbitration Clause 32, which states that the subcontractor may not institute any actions against the contractor unless in New Jersey jurisdiction. Muscarell then filed a similar stay for arbitration that was granted against Wakefern in the jurisdiction of New York. Coleman appealed and forced the court to look at several cases in New York and Florida where arbitration clauses have given one party the right to demand arbitration and not the other. For both states, there was cases where New York and Florida upheld the right for only one party to demand arbitration. At the time of Coleman's appeal, New Jersey did not have a specific clause giving one party the right to demand arbitration. Thus, the courts finally looked to Alaska, where they had an opposing viewpoint to New York and Florida and gave both the contractor and subcontractor the right to demand arbitration. Because New Jersey adopted the outlook of Alaska, both Coleman and Muscarell were given the right to demand arbitration. Now that both Coleman and Muscarell were given the right to demand arbitration, a consolidation of both cases were given for the arbitration proceedings that Coleman once again appealed, citing Clause 32. The courts did not decide whether or not that the consolidation should or should not happen, but thus cited that the American Arbitration Association should be in charge of what arbitration proceedings are consolidated and which ones are not. In the end, the American Arbitration Association decided to consolidate both of the arbitration uh, proceedings and have both Coleman and Muscarell's hearings at the same time.